So I've got a bit of footage of me trying to fit the seat. Um, I did this over three days with significant problems. The initial um, uh, delivery, the box was all smashed up and it just didn't seem to want to go in. I had uh, several conversations with the manufacturers um, and I'll go through here what, what footage I have got and um, talk about what happened. So initially I just tried following all the instructions and I just couldn't get the seat to fit flat at all. It was sat on top of a, an electrical conduit and wouldn't sit down onto the floor. So I just wanted to show you really the state that this arrived in um, and the totally inadequate packaging that was with it. There was just four bits of polystyrene inside. The box totally chewed up. Every single bit was smashed through. Um, I just opened it at the end here. Um, all of this damage was already there. Um, um, but this packaging is just not adequate for the, um, the, the weight of the, of the seat base really. So this is where I'm at the minute. I've chopped this stud down as per instructions and I've put the washer on this one. That's also had the top shaved to the appropriate length, as has this one. Uh, I've took the matting out because I was struggling to make sure it was all sitting flat. So the matting will come back in later. I know that needs to come back in. Um, I've not taped this yet. Um, that will get done. And I've, I've trimmed just here on the plastic because I was struggling with this. Um, I can't go any lower at the minute. Um, it will squash the wires. So if I show it you in place, so with the seat base in place, this end is, is okay. Uh, this end is, is, seems okay as well. This stud is bent, but um, uh, when you get in under here, you see there's a, a large gap. Uh, I did try putting one of the six mil spacers under there. That did seem to do the job. Um, I managed to bolt it down like that and put the seat in place hard because of the bent stud. Um, but then uh, there's a, a gap opened up in this corner here and I couldn't put the locking pins in. So that makes me think that the, the seat base wasn't level. Not sure uh, what I'm doing wrong or, or how I can resolve this. So after contacting the company, they sent me out some more spaces to try and make up for that gap. I've got this 10 mil space that should be there. I've got a 10 here and a six there. And then I've made up out of some um, metal, uh, this little spacer to sit over this stud. This is the only way and the only combination that I seem to be able to get this seat to, to sit flat and not rock. Okay, so um, I've just put the rubber matting back in place and given that a wipe over, remove any dust. Um, we'll try and get the base in now. Okay, so um, the base is back in now and I'm pretty happy with the way these are locking. They're all um, relatively stiff. This one's still a bit loose, but uh, whatever I do, one seems to be loose. Uh, all I've done is um, tighten the torque down on each bolt to try and straighten that out. Seat on next. So I'm still kind of struggling. Uh, I got all the base flat and level and it was all locking in fine. But as soon as I put the seat on, um, we seem to have a gap, a gap down here that makes it very hard to, to lock into place. This, this one in particular, I'm gonna really push on the seat. I don't know if that's normal or whether this base is bent. So obviously we've got the seat in and it does rotate and work and uh, I've got some footage of that. But there is still this gap which we're not happy about so it's got to come out again at some point and um, I've got to have another go at getting that gap reduced. Um, the way I plan on doing that after talking to the company again is to add some more washers. Um, so this time we're going to put a, a small washer between the seat and the seat base hopefully to remove that, um, that small gap between the two plates of the base. But there's also some um, damage occurring to the friction plate. Uh, there's some marks on the edge between the two plates um, from transit and um, I've cleaned them up now but you can see where it was um, causing an issue in it. So I think maybe you can see here where the, the edge of this weld is destroying this scratch plate, this um, friction surface. That's happened in a couple of places but this one's a really bad one. So I'll leave you now with a um, demonstration of the seat working and um, I'll provide some more updates. Um, as I make more progress with the van. Right, long last this might be working. First thing to do is remove the headrest. Really not very easy. Once the headrests are out, you can undo the locking pins.
and then you can turn it, which is not that easy. There you go, rotated. Quite difficult.